the High Tech Nomad here. And today we're gonna to talk about the Amazon Echo and I'm gonna show you my top tips. Now, before we start, a warning. I'm gonna be saying the A word a lot. So if you have an Amazon Echo, now is the time to put it in mute so it won't react to me saying it every time when I say it. So if you have an Amazon Echo already and it's in the room or it's within earshot of this video, you wanna to go to it and you can see the little microphone on there you just go ahead and just give that a push and that puts it in mute mode. That means you can stand here and say, Alexa, Alexa, Alexa all day and nothing's going to happen because it's in mute mode. And again, you'll know that for sure because the mic will be in red and the red ring will be, the ring will be in red to signify that it is in mute mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a minute to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so they make many different Amazon Echoes. This is the larger of the, the largest of the Amazon Echoes as of today. They, the new version is large like this, but I think it's about two inches or three inches smaller. I bought this one initially because this was the first one that I bought and I was going to play music on it in my bedroom. That's what I, this is where this one normally lives. And so I wanted the larger unit. Now, after I got those, everything else in the house is one of these. This is called the Echo Dot, and it is, as you can see, a little tiny, uh, little tiny dot unit. And obviously the speaker on this is not the same as the speaker on this, but you can hear music, it's fine. Now, what they do do is they give you an auxiliary output, which means you can actually, if you have really good speakers, you can take the output from this and plug it into the really good speakers. It also works via Bluetooth to any Bluetooth. So I have the Echo Dot, uh, my office, living room, bedroom, kitchen, vacation home, etc. All right. And then there's this little guy here, and this is uh, tip number one. This is called the Amazon Echo Wand, and it retails for $20, and it comes with a $20 gift card. That's right, that means that this one is actually free, so you should just go ahead and get one. And so now, tip number one is, I carry this with me. Now what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to stay in the kitchen, and I'm supposed to push the button and ask it questions. How many cups in a gallon of milk? There are 17.2 cups in one gallon of milk. Okay. I need a recipe for macaroni and cheese. Okay, for macaroni and cheese. I recommend old fashioned mac and cheese. Cancel. And it, al it also has a nifty bar, I don't know if you can see that. It has a barcode scanner. Cancel. It has a barcode scanner and it will. Which one? Cancel. It, it has a barcode scanner and you're supposed to use it to say, okay, I need more of these, more of those. So it does, it's really, really cool. Now, the thing I like about this is that it doesn't do anything unless I push the button. And so I keep this with me in my pocket and I pull it out and I push the button and I issue my commands. And the reason I say this is tip number one is you can carry this with you all the time. Now, if somebody says, hey, wait a minute, it doesn't have to be connected to the internet. Yes, it does. However, most phones now come with a Wi-Fi hotspot and it comes free of charge. So if you set this to the Wi-Fi hotspot that's on your phone, every place your phone goes, this will work. So if your phone's in your pocket, this will work with you. So that I take this with me all the time. This is really, really good. Now, you might say, well, how often do I have to ask for cups of milk uh, when I'm out and about? I don't. But what people don't realize is I can do everything else that I can do with my Echo Dot. Everything I can do with that, I can do with this. So when I'm out and about and I need to do something like, when is Christmas? Christmas Day will be on Monday, December 25th, 2017. Add call the farm to my to-do list. I've added call the farm to your to-do list. Or new appointment. Okay, what day and time? Next Thursday. For what time? 8 a.m. And what's the name of the event? Call the Giant Balloon Factory. I'll schedule a call the Giant Balloon Factory on Thursday. 
December 21st at 8 a.m., okay? Yes. I usually go with the dot if I'm going to have it someplace. And you can buy, I'll have a link for this, this little battery pack. That's why this dot is working without any form of uh, wired input there, okay? So the next one, the next tip is intercom. A lot of people don't realize if you have two or more uh, Amazon Echoes on your account, you can call one from the other. It, it works as an intercom system between there. You can add units from your own account, but, is the tip, you can add units from another account. So I actually have another unit, as some of you may know from following me. My wife is from Estonia. We have a unit over in Estonia, sitting on my father-in-law's office desk. I can say, drop in on Tano, and I can actually talk to him free of charge from here to there uh, without having to do anything and, and vice versa. So it's an intercom, but I want you to understand it's an intercom that is global. One unit will be able to talk to the other without any issue. I have a friend in Nepal, okay? So if I say, drop in on Jackie, beeps on his end, and we have a conversation. The way you end a conversation is by saying, uh, Alexa, hang up. So that's uh, another tip right there. Now, in keeping with that, we have another tip, which is phone calls. A lot of people don't realize that the Amazon Echoes can be used to make phone calls right now. I think it's the United States, Canada, maybe Mexico. I don't know. I'll have a link down the bottom. You can take a look at it. But now I can say, Alexa, call Domino's Pizza. And what it'll do is it's going to use the app that's on my phone to see if I already have a number for Domino's Pizza, and then it will call. And the person on the other end won't realize it because it actually shows up with my caller ID. So there's no issue with them saying, what's this weird phone number? And of course, yes, it's, it puts it in, it, it, it's like a speaker phone call. So you'll hear it as a speaker phone call. But I use that, again, I have one of these on my desk. So I'm typing and I see I'm supposed to call Phil. I can just say, Alexa, call 617-555-1212. She says, okay. She goes ahead. She makes the phone call. And I have my little speaker phone call, and I say, Alexa, hang up, and I'm done, and I haven't even had to stop typing, okay? So you have that capability there. So you have a full capability as far as communications are concerned, all right? So you have this drop-in, so you have that, and then you have that you can use it to make regular phone calls. And again, there's no charge for those phone calls. Moving right along, I have a script, but I'm just like uh, totally messing it up. But I want to just hurry up and get this done for you guys because I want you to see all of the different things that you can do with it. Okay, another tip. It can be used to um, set an alarm. We kind of sort of alluded to that. And you can do something like say, wake me up at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., whatever. But did you know you can have it wake you up to a certain type of music? So for example, Alexa, wake me up at 8 a.m. with songs by Dean Martin. Alarm set for 8 a.m. tomorrow to Dean Martin on Amazon Music. So tomorrow, when this, when this goes off, it's going to start playing uh, Dean Martin songs. Now, I could set it to play a certain, a certain song. I could set it to play certain types of songs. I can set it to set to play, uh, for example, tune-in stations. Alexa, cancel alarm. Alexa, wake me at 9 a.m. to station Atomic City on TuneIn. Alarm set for 9 a.m. tomorrow to Atomic City with Skip Bumbrill on TuneIn. Okay, we're on location in my bedroom. As you can see, I have my Amazon Echo, and I'm charging my gear watch, and I'm using the best wireless charger. I'll leave a link for the review I did on that on the Lyft wireless charger because it holds the phone without dropping it but the reason that we're here is because we want to take a look at some of the smart home capabilities so for example alexa turn off bedside lamp okay alexa set bedside lamp to 10 percent okay alexa set bedside lamp to red Okay. Alexa, set bedside lamp to blue. Okay. 
Okay. Alexa, set bedside lamp to 100%. Okay. Alexa, turn on TV. Alexa, ask Harmony to change channel to 807. Okay. Alexa, ask Harmony to turn the volume down five notches. Okay. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. 